Hi, so today's video is about Supermicro uh, server rack rail kits. Now I know a lot of you guys are out there building your uh, home media servers or your uh, virtualization lab at home uh, using Supermicro chassis. And if you buy your Supermicro ser server, uh, say on eBay, and it's you know secondhand used, uh, oftentimes it doesn't come with the rack rail kits and you have to buy them separately. Or what often happens is that the sellers on eBay somehow include the inner rail kits attached to the server uh, that you just bought, but they didn't include the external, um, the external rail kit that goes with it. And so you're not able to um, <clears throat> mount your, your server without buying the external rail or a brand new rail kit. Now, there are a couple of different options for uh, mounting your, your uh, Supermicro server in a rack. And I'm gonna cover the two most prevalent uh, rail kits that are out there today. And so it's this kit and this kit here. Um, so this is uh, a printout from Supermicro's e-store. And this kit here is part number MCP290-0003-0N. And this other kit here is a very similar part number. It's MCP290-00057. Zero N. And so the main difference in the part number is the seven here, whereas this one is the three. Now what's the difference and how do you distinguish these? Because they, they actually look very, very similar. Well, this kit here, the one that has the three in it, uh, most easily, uh, most easy way to distinguish this is to look for the yellow label at the end here. And uh, likewise on the, uh, the kit that has the seven uh, in, the, in its part number, it's distinguished by this blue label uh, at the end here. And so actually from now on, I'm gonna to refer to this as the yellow label kit and this as the blue label kit. And for the most part, they do the same thing. They will rack your uh, 2U, 3U, 4U, uh, and even in this case, 5U um, server rack chassis to, uh, in your server rack. And they all attached in, in an identical way. They use these type of inner rails that uh, slide onto hooks here and then you can secure it with a screw so this doesn't uh, come off your chassis. And then this slides into the outer rail and the outer rail attaches to um, your server rack. So then what is the difference between the yellow label and the blue label, you might ask? And this is what I'll uh, show you here. So I'm going to fully extend the yellow rail here, this is the left kit. So that's as far as that will go. And I'll do the same with the blue label kit. Okay, so that's as far as that will go. And I'm going to align the end. This is the front uh, part of the outer rail here. So this is perfectly aligned right here. This would in effect be the front face of your server rack where my hand is when you attach this to uh, your server rack. And so you'll immediately notice that the, the intermediate rail and the, the inner rail here uh, extends further on the yellow label kit than the blue label kit. And this is actually uh, specified in the product description, but it's not always obvious what it means because they call it they call it a 27 inch display chassis so you know if that's kind of a, a strange way to um, to describe it but that's how they describe it and so over here you'll see 24 inch display chassis and so what this means is that when you uh, have your server racked with these kits and you fully extend out your server from your rack let's say you're you know, swapping out some memory or a PCI card or something like that, and you fully extend it out, this kit, the yellow label kit, will give you 27 inches uh, of extension, whereas the blue label kit will only give you 24 inches of extension. Now, I personally prefer the yellow label kit, and I'm sure you can guess why. A lot of servers are longer than 20, uh, 24 inches. 
So if you use the blue label kit on a server that's longer than 24 inches, and that encompasses a lot of the, the chassis that Supermicro sells. So like something like the 825, the 826, the four, uh, 846, uh, 836 chassis. If you mount them with the blue label kit, when you fully extend your server out of the rack, it's not going to extend far enough for you to remove the cover. So um, that kind of makes it a little bit inconvenient. Now you can work around that. You can release this latch here and extend the inner rail out a few more inches in order to uh, get, gain access to uh, remove your, your cover to the server. But I actually don't like that because this means that this is no longer secured in the intermediate rail. And you know, if you're not careful, this could extend all the way out and you can drop your server. So um, I'm, you know, not very comfortable doing that. I have, you know, if I have to, um, sure, I just, you know, I'll extend out a few inches and just be very cautious about not, you know, having this thing go all the way out. With the, with the yellow label kit, it'll extend out just enough for you to uh, remove the cover without having to unlatch the uh, inner rail. So for that reason, I prefer the yellow label kits. And that's what I would normally recommend if you are uh, out there shopping for a uh, rack mount kit for your super micro server. Um, if you do happen to have the blue kit, um, maybe, it, you know, you, you got your server with that kit, you know, they, they will work. Um, you know, it's, it's not uh, completely unusable, but, you know, it, like I said, it does not extend as far out. And for, for a lot of the chassis, um, it doesn't extend far out enough to remove the the cover for you to uh, do any maintenance on your server when you need to. All right, so that's the primary difference between the yellow label kit and the blue label kit. And like I said, I prefer the yellow label kits. Now, like I said earlier, a lot of times when you buy your servers, they will leave the inner rails attached and you don't have the outer rails. And you can buy the outer rails by themselves on eBay and you know and then just you know attach it onto the inner rail and then you're set to go and and that sometimes will save you a little bit of money because um, the outer rails are often cheaper than the entire kit however there is a catch and that's why i have two sets of inner rails here uh, on the table so at first glance the two kits look almost identical and but if we take a closer look you're going to notice that there are some subtle differences and there's kind of a gotcha. So the thing that actually is going to get you, and I'll get to that in a moment here, is not something that's gonna be easily uh, visually identifiable, but it's good to know the subtle differences between these two uh, inner rail kits because that'll help you distinguish what inner rail kit you have. And then, you know, knowing what I'll show you uh, at the end here, um, you know, that'll help you kind of figure out how to find the outer rail kit, or if perhaps um, you just should, you should just go get an entire complete kit uh, anyway. But here's, here's, so here's the, the let's, let's look at the, the two uh, rail kits. So this is uh, one kit and this is another kit. And immediately you'll notice the hole pattern here is a little bit different. This has a larger hole for you to uh, attach a retention screw to keep this rail from falling off the uh, the chassis. There's a couple of these along the length of uh, the rail, um, the inner rail here. So there's one here, one here, one here, and two more down here. Whereas on this kit, uh, there's a hole here, but this it's not really suitable for attaching the screw that uh, holds the rail to the server chassis, but there are uh, two here and two down here, and, and that's actually enough. You only need one um, to prevent this thing from falling off. So it's, it's not like it's not uh, fully functional, but there are, there, that is one difference. And the other difference you'll notice is there's kind of um, this, um, I don't know what you call it, but a little indent here uh, at the end here, whereas this is perfectly flat. And again, if you kind of look at the length of the cable here, uh, or the, the, the inner rail here, uh, this one is missing the holes uh, here, whereas this set has the holes. And here there's a, a little, uh, another indent here, uh, whereas on this kit, uh, the other indent is further down. 
And then there's also these uh, other holes that I don't think they really serve any purpose, but they're holes here, whereas this kit does not have those holes. So there are subtle differences in these two uh, inner rail kits. The easiest way to tell whether you have this kit or this kit is by looking for this yellow sticker at the end. So this says Rev B and this has no label. So I don't really know what to call this kit, but I assume this is might been a, uh, might have been an earlier model. And so they didn't really, you know, since you only had one model, they didn't bother to distinguish it. And then they came out with this other kit uh, probably later on and they call this Rev B. So I'll call this not the non Rev B or, you know, some people might call it the Rev A, uh, but I'll call this the non Rev B kit and then this the Rev B kit. And so, you know, for the most part, they function in a very similar way. They will attach to the server chassis in, uh, in an identical way with where the, the hooks are go, that go into these square holes. Um, so they will both attach just fine. The problem is that the matching outer rails are not the same. And so if you, if you have the non-rev B kit, you need to get a non-rev B uh, outer rail kit. If you have the Rev B kit, you need to get the Rev B outer rail kit. Otherwise, they won't fit. And you might say, well, they look almost the same other than these various holes here that it might be different. Why is it that they don't fit? And it's actually a very, very subtle difference. And so I'm gonna show you that today. So let me just kind of, uh, here, let me let's take a look at these two right side rails. So I have here, a uh, caliper and I'm going to measure the uh, width of this so you'll see that this is about 39 about 39 millimeters okay and the non so that was the rev b and this is now the non rev b And, well, that can't be right. Let me reset this. Okay. Okay, so you'll see that this reads 40, about 40 and a half millimeters. So again, that's the non-Rev B, and here's the Rev B set. This reads about 30, nine millimeters. So there's roughly a 1.5 millimeter difference in the, the thickness of these rails. So it's a very, very subtle difference. You, you really won't be able to tell just kind of laying them side by side. They, they look like they would, you know, fit perfectly fine in any outer rail kit, but they won't. And you know, they're a little bit tapered here in order for you to kind of slide it in. So if you were to try to match one of these non rev B, uh, rails to a rev b outer rail it'll slide in the first inch or so and then it'll get jammed up and you won't be able to uh, uh, slide it in any further whereas the non rev b kit obviously or the rev b kit will obviously go into a uh, rev b outer rail just fine so that's really the the subtle difference that will will get you because you you know you'll see this rail and says oh it looks identical to the Rev B you know go buy any outer uh, outer rail kit you think it'll attach and it won't so that's something to be cautious about now you might say okay let's say I do have a Rev B uh, inner rail how do I identify whether I have a uh, Rev B uh, outer rail kit and so the way to look for that is to look at the intermediate rail here so if if you're buying uh, just the outer rails from somebody on eBay, you know, see if they can show you a photo of this. Uh, this is the intermediate rail that attaches to the inner rail and it kind of um, attaches to the outer rail here. There will be a Rev B uh, sticker here. So if you have a Rev B sticker on the outer rail kit uh, in the intermediate rail here, then this should fit a Rev B uh, inner rail that you might have. Now, unfortunately, a lot of sellers, you know, they're not gonna pull this out to show you this, the photo of this, but 
uh, you can ask them ask them to uh, you know if you don't see it in in the in the listing ask them if this is a rev b tell them you know where to look for the sticker and if they can confirm that they have a rev b uh, outer rail kit that they're selling and you have the rev b inner rail kit then most likely you'll be just fine buying that kit and it'll it'll fit the problem is with the non rev b uh, or um, sometimes the sticker can get removed and so that's why i was sh kind of showing you the subtle differences you know like this notch is kind of what i look for in this hole here um, if you're just looking at photos of the item of the actual item and this sticker doesn't exist then you know look for these subtle differences so that you can tell that this is a non rev b and this is a rev b kit um, and then go from there to find your outer rail now the problem is if you have a non rev b outer rail it's often uh, very hard to distinguish the non rev b um, inner rail because again if this sticker got removed then you don't really have a way to tell whether the the outer rail kit that you're looking at uh, looking at buying is a rev b or or not rev b so a lot of times if you end up with a non uh, rev b or rev a or whatever you want to call this earlier design um you know chances are you're probably better off just buying an entire complete kit and um and you know mounting your server with uh, a complete working you know matched kit versus trying to find the outer rail to to match this now you might be able to find it i i just find that uh, a, a lot of people um spend a lot of time <laughs> buying uh rail kits that end up don't uh that don't you know fit and uh, you know you end up wasting time and money uh buying things that don't work together and so sometimes you're just better off saying, hey, all right, you know, let me just buy a complete kit that, you know, is known to work together. So anyway, that's uh, that, those are the things to, to uh, be cautious about. If you're out there building your uh, super micro server and you're trying to rack mount it and lo you're looking for rail kits, you know, be wary of, you know, if you have a, a Rev B uh, kit or a, you know, one that doesn't have a label. And, you know, if you're not really sure if maybe somebody, you know, if you saw some sticker residue here and you think, well, maybe somebody removed the sticker, then look uh, carefully at the the rails or, you, you know, if you have calibers, measure them. This is uh, about 39. This is about 40.5 millimeters uh, wide. And that's, that difference will, will really get you. So uh, just be careful of that. And again, um, if you're buying an entire kit, I do highly recommend getting the yellow label kit just because it gets you that full extension and uh, making the kit uh, much more uh, convenient and easier to use uh, when you're doing uh, maintenance on, on your server. All right, so hopefully that helps you guys out. And uh, if you like this video, please uh, click on like. And if you wanna see other videos uh, about server building, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And again, uh, I sell various uh, IT mode HBA uh, cards for people building free NAS or ZFS servers. So uh, check out my eBay store called The Art of Server, and I'll leave a link in the description for you. All right, thank you very much, guys. Bye bye.